Good morning. Welcome to volume two, issue 40, what, seven of Coffee with Kira. I'm a hot mess today. Because we're having a baby in 10 days. <laughs> At the time of this recording, uh, it'll be more like eight days when this comes out. Um, <clears throat> so, we, uh, Lemon is still Breach. Uh, it's sure looking like they're going to stay that way. They could always flip, but, um, but we have a C-section scheduled. So, uh, this is officially my last video and probably last Coffee with Kira for the rest of 2022, which is exciting for me. Um, <laughs> it's nice to take a little break and obviously I'll be occupied with baby, um, so yeah, and then of course, I'll get out of your hair so you can enjoy your holiday season. Um, with a little less noise. I try not to make this a super noisy uh, newsletter or uh, vlog, but um, yeah, I think it's always good to pause, especially this time of year when there's like just an onslaught of people asking for your attention. I have a good excuse to bow out of that. Um, and I have some fun things to share. So I was able to finish the little kitty toys that I made for Lemon. Aren't they so cute? This is nobody. And this is William Blake. <laughs> Um, I followed the same pattern, but she came out obviously slightly different. I think I missed an increase on him. Um, but that's okay because in real life, his head is smaller than her head. He's actually, um, a slightly smaller cat than she is, even though he weighs like two pounds more than her. <laughs> uh, he's way fatter than she is. Um, but anyway, little William Blake and nobody stuffies for... For lemon they're very cute they're sitting in lemon's crib right now um since we've we have the crib set up in the nursery in the bassinet where lemon will be sleeping for a while in our room so they're safe to stay in the crib for now um but yeah got those finished and i'm pretty pleased with how they turned out and then in other knitting news i got more yarn to work on this top that you've seen me working on for the last month-ish. Um, it was a noisy neighbor. Their car. So um, this is the sleeve. This is a um, merino wool cashmere nylon blend. Just a gray that's similar to the to the other gray. The colorful ones, the the light gray, the blue, and the red are all buffalo blend. And I marled it all the way through and now I'm just using up the rest of that ball on the body. And then this should, um, it's a pretty loose gauge so once I block it, I think I'm actually going to steam it, it should relax and gain some length that way too. So. Um, right now it looks like a crop, but I actually think it's going to be fairly long on, especially because it sits pretty low on the shoulders. So, yeah, so I should have that done this week because I literally <laughs> only have a little bit of yarn left and then I'm done done. And then I have some pretty mindless knitting prepped for um, when Lemon gets here. Um, yeah. But yeah, I've been able to um, get get stuff done, get some relaxing done. Oh, I have this painting done, which I just did an isolation coat on. I'm going to varnish it today. But this is, let me make sure I get the name right, Waieka or Waika, Waieka, I think, Waieka Rising. So. Uh, Waieka is the Shasta tribe word, or one of them, for Mount Shasta itself. And then this mountain is based on Mount Shasta. 
And we've got an osprey on there, which are rad birds. Some of my favorite raptors. They're very fierce looking, but like to the point where it's silly, <laughs> in my opinion. But anyway, we've got uh, we've got some gold in there. Got some iridescent paint in there. I'm trying to catch. I don't know if this is really catching the iridescent. You can see the gold, but there's there's like iridescent blue and stuff in here too. And then the, the eye has got some gold on it also. Let's see if I can catch that in the light. Anyway, I'm really pleased with how this came out. Um, it is for the Small Works show at the Chico Art Center starting in December. So I'm going to have someone run that over for me. And yeah, it'll be up and available at the Chico Art Center. And I'm really pleased with how it came out. Again, with the navy and gold <laughs> navy colors aka like army navy navy colors um yeah slash the rams <laughs> my um my grandpa was uh, an admiral in the navy and a huge fan of the rams so that color scheme has strong associations to those two things in my family, but I love those colors right now. So what can you do? Not that I'm, you know, I don't care about the Rams. And I, at one point wanted to join the Naval Academy, but then decided I didn't like to work out. So <laughs> things have changed, <laughs> but anyway, that's a long story. Um, back to me blabbing about what's going on in my current life. Um, that's really it. <laughs> I was able to get a painting done, feel really good about that. Getting lots of uh, knitting done these days, watching lots of TV, enjoying being on leave. Um, I put up all the Christmas decorations already. Which is 100% justified this year because I'm going to have a baby. So, and I want to enjoy my Christmas decorations. We're hoping to get the tree up the day after Thanksgiving, um, which will be just a few days before Lemon gets here and will be totally appropriate. <laughs> um, yeah, Thanksgiving is actually Jamie's favorite holiday. So, um, and I also find it important to like put um, brackets on Christmas in order to enjoy it fully rather than have it become a, um, like desensitize myself to it, if that makes sense. So normally like Thanksgiving, I try to really make sure that we wait till the day of at least to like start playing the classic Christmas music and the day after to put up decorations, etc., etc. But this year's an exception. Um, yeah. And so the 28th is when the C-section is scheduled, which means Lemon will be a turkey baby someday, which is exciting. Um, Jamie's sisters have a birthday around Thanksgiving, so they're familiar with navigating birthdays and holidays at the same time. It'll be good. So, yeah. Anyway, that's obviously that's what's been on my mind and continues to be on my mind. I'm, I'm really looking forward to um, this new phase <laughs> of my life and my identity, shifting into motherhood. Um, I know, you know, everyone is always like, well, you know, enjoy your sleep while you can. And I'm like, I'm not sleeping well because I'm hella pregnant. <laughs> Um, and you know, everyone's always full of warnings, but I'm like, you know, it's part of the process. We've been doing this for as long as humans have been around. So I'm not really like, I know things will readjust and I'm, um, I'm really looking forward to kind of rebuilding, um, my, my self and my life around, uh, motherhood. Um, Obviously, it's a big change, and it's a big change, like, physically and emotionally and mentally. Like, every aspect of my life is going to change, and um, 
And fortunately, I am, I've always been drawn to like clean, uh, like clean slate change kind of things. Like I've always liked New Year's and the start of a new week and a new month and a new journal and you know, et cetera, et cetera. So this is like kind of an ultimate <laughs> shift. <laughs> so main, main word of advice I can give myself is just to take it slow because I also tend to want to change everything instantly all at once. Which is not a way to create sustainable change, nor is it advisable when you just had a baby. So, um, so that'll be kind of my mantra going forward. Let's take it slow. And, um, yeah, it'll be good. And, you know, that's good advice for this time of year. <laughs> take it slow. I think the holidays have snuck up on a lot of people already, and um, obviously I'm planning way ahead because I've got other things to think about, but I think we put, a, a, you know, we do put a lot of pressure on ourselves this time of year. And every year I try to find ways to take that pressure off of myself. Um, at least I set the intention to do that. And I think that's a great way to enjoy the season more. <laughs> so I hope that you're able to um, also take that advice and run with it and that you have an amazing rest of your year. And I will see you again in 2023 with a baby. <laughs> Bye.